But joining us now for more on today's market action is Eddie Gabor, co-owner of the Key Advisors Group. Eddie, thanks so much for joining us on this jam-packed Cyber Monday morning. The stock market is under pressure, as I mentioned, following widespread protests in China against the zero COVID policies. How closely are you watching the unrest there? And what does it mean for U.S. investors? So look, we are a geopolitical, in this environment right now, you have to be concerned with China because of the amount of companies that get business from there. But I think the bigger issue for the U.S. markets is going to be this data that comes out this week. PCE that you mentioned uh, is going to be a big deal because this bear market bounce that we've seen is because of inflation coming down last month and the whole narrative of the Fed potentially pivoting. If we get inflation data and labor market data that comes out this week that shows that the Fed is going to continue to stay hawkish, which is where we think this market's going to be going, I think you're going to see, unfortunately, not a Santa Claus rally. And these gains that we've gotten in this bear bounce are going to evaporate quickly. So uh, Chairman Powell also speaks on Wednesday, so it'll be interesting to see the narrative coming there. Uh, but this inflation data that we're going to be getting this week is going to be critical. I think it's the most important uh, data point that we're going to get this week. All right, Eddie, and I just want to reiterate, no Santa Claus rally uh, this year, as you mentioned. Uh, but let's talk about, you know, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Adobe Analytics is expecting shoppers to spend another $11.2 billion in deals today, which is up 5.1 percent from last year. And this, of course, following record online Black Friday spending as well. So what's your outlook for the retail sector amid all of this spending? So the retail sector is probably one of the worst sectors to be in, in our opinion, because of the amount of inventory they have. Uh, and I think one thing that's going to come true here after we get through this holiday season is you're going to see the margin compression in that space uh, has been really compressed. So they're having to bring prices down to unwind this record amount of inventory they have. So the outlook, in my opinion, for retail sector over the next six months uh, is very, very bearish. Uh, in regards to the consumer, they've been extremely resilient. Um, and this is, again, kind of pointing to the economy staying stronger uh, than most people anticipated, myself included, throughout this downward trend, which is why the Fed is going to have to continue uh, to take liquidity out of the system. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm watching on the consumer, on the spending that they're doing uh, throughout the holiday season is how much of that is being put on credit. You're seeing credit card debt really soar to record levels. Um, and so that's a temporary tailwind from an economic perspective, but it's a major headwind going into next year. If you have the consumer sitting at record levels of debt, and by the way, that debt on interest on that debt is at a, a high that we haven't seen in a long time because of how high interest rates are. So the consumer, I think, is going to have major headwinds going into next year. Yeah, Eddie, and also we know a trend that we've been watching this year as well is the rise of buy now, pay later solutions, which of course can have uh, their own types of pitfalls here. But I wanted to do talk. I do want to talk about uh, data here because investors are obviously going to have a lot to consider this week. Uh, the jobs report is due out on Friday. Data on job openings, of course, consumer confidence, spending, and home prices is also in the docket earlier in the week. Can this week's data change the direction of the market here? I think it can. And I think what you're going to start to see this week is the fact that we're still a long ways away from the inflation target the Fed is trying to get to. Um, in regards to the labor market, I mean, one of the things that we're watching, too, is the wages. You know, uh, wages continue to stay very high and increase, which, again, is hurting businesses because, again, of the margin compression. So the last thing the Fed wants to see, in my opinion, is this market to continue to soar because then that combats the inflationary pressure that they're trying to keep tame. Like it or not, what we need to reset this environment we're in is a recession. And I think the yield curve is really giving a clear signal to the markets and to the consumer and to anyone that's investing, when you look at how steep the inversion is, is that we are either in a recession or heading into one next year, and that is not priced into the market. So I think the Fed over the next two weeks is going to pour cold water on this narrative that they're going to be dovish. They aren't anywhere near dovish, and they continue to take liquidity out of the system. And that is the reason why we do not think we will see that Santa Claus rally. There's just too many headwinds uh, ahead of us here in the near term, unfortunately. Eddie, thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Eddie Gabor, co-owner of the Key Advisors Group.